Uh, I'm Sean Demario. What else is there? I used to be somebody's man. I want someone that she can love and understand. I should be sailed along this stone. that doesn't have a home um, that likes to go a lot of places we used to stroll on through the park I comforted her from the dark That's, that's pretty much it. I like, I mean, I like fishing. We used to kiss her on the forehead Every night before we went to bed But now the garden we planted is dead I used to be somebody's man With music, it's, he feels it in a way that no one I know. It's so just like in his blood. He, he could learn the guitar as best he did and play the Lord of the Rings song the first time he picked up a banjo in his life. I mean, I could probably play a lot of instruments, but my main instruments would be piano, guitar, banjo, trombone, um, washboard, and washed up bass are my, are my main ones. I do say that I'm homeless. I'm not. I mean, I guess there's homeless and there's like homeless. I'm not like I have places to go, but I don't have a set home. First of all, Sean knows just so many people. Anywhere we go together, he <laughs> he knows probably you know two or three people. People are always happy to, uh, for a time, happy to help him out. It's because he's so damn lovable, and it's because he's so you know like. He is the life of the party, and he is an amazing guy. He hasn't been in a situation where he's just been on the street or anything, because he always can fall back on his charm. Okay, that looks good, right? Sean's version of making a bed. Is this awkward? It's pretty awkward, huh? Be honest, I look pretty awkward. I started sleeping here a lot because I didn't like sleeping at my parents' house. My mom was there and wasn't there and was there like off and on um, up until high school because she was always drinking and she'd leave for you know who knows when. Second day of my freshman year she was supposed to pick me up from school that day and she didn't and so I called my dad and he picked me up and we came back and all her shit was gone. She's the uh, she's the main reason I didn't want to go home. I've been living I've been living at friend's house off and on since since a long time. High school was fun. I uh, I did a lot of fun stuff. Didn't go to class much. Were you like the class clown? I yeah, I was a school clown. I dropped out my senior year. We needed 46 credits to graduate, and I only had 12. I did get my GED, um, but I didn't really care about it, and so now I don't know where it is. The first job Sean and I worked together was concrete polishing. Sean fell asleep on the job. Sean worked at Guitar Center. Honestly, I don't remember if that was got fired because he was just doing such a lousy job or he eventually just quit because he was fed up with it. And then here at the hotel, he got drunk one night and went to Missouri. My baby left me cause she ain't happy with the man I turned out to be. Sean is definitely a good enough musician. He could be a hired musician and he could make a record and I think he could make it. Yeah, it's, it's entirely about Sean getting his ass in gear now. Cause I am drunk now, when I am loaded. I got my 44 cocked and ready to go. Cause I'm a drunkard, oh I'm a sinner. I am no good living way down low. Music is like a way to to like understand somebody. I think Hurt is a song 
it, uh, it just it describes me pretty well. I get hurt a lot. It makes good songs. Writing songs breaks his heart in a way that I, I understand, but it, it's also extreme, I think. He takes it to a level that I would be terrified to really go to, to just bank on his heart being broken so that a song will come out of it, and it doesn't always. His song, Run Away, was, I think it's, it's his, certainly his heaviest song. It, it's the one that he was most gutsy about uh, writing. It's about his dad dying. Um, and, and finding his dad. Sean called me one day and you could just tell something big happened. He was just on his way out to work that morning and usually his dad would be in the basement. He always slept on this chair downstairs. I remember I was like telling him goodbye because I was going to walk back to work and yeah, that's, I found him not awake. Sean eventually, you know, figured out what was going on and called paramedics and uh, they asked him to do some stuff like lay him on the floor, try to revive him. Uh, and I remember Sean specifically saying that that was like the most traumatic part about it, was having to pick his dad up. And, I was just like railed, like I was so fucking sad. I was no, I was more in shock than anything at that point. Um, and then the anger, I don't know. I just, I was pissed that like it just happened so suddenly, and like we couldn't do anything about it. His dad was probably the only person in his family that really cared about Sean. <laughs> I did what I know best, and I just left. I just. Left. continuing to play that song because <clears throat> as far as I can tell that's his most you know most in incredibly painful and dark corner of his mind of his heart what if it you know someone who went through a similar experience what if they heard that song I think that that is where the greatest source of, of hope with, with all the music and with whatever the future is is when you know that one song resonates with that one person you could never have expected the fact that he still plays it and, and hasn't you know shut that out from his life is, is quite amazing. And it's I think it's the first step. Uh, his songwriting about things like that is the first step in healing and, and getting past those things.